Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Now this is kind of a tradition around the world, especially where you celebrate Christmas or any gift giving situation. The day after. The day after is when you've had the day where you hand out presents and half of them don't work. If you're lucky, half of them don't work. Sometimes they catch fire. Sometimes they just sit there don't do, not doing anything. This was one of those not doing anything times. As we all know, I was pretty much tied to the house. I had an IV in my arm and twice a day and spent about two hours sitting there twiddling my thumbs answering your questions on the internet and not being able to do anything else. But I was glad that at least I had that to do. <sighs> this Christmas, both Lydia and I were unable to go out and do normal Christmas shopping. I know, we could have went during the whole year because we know Christmas is coming, right? How many of you do that? Okay, you in the back with your hand up? You can leave the room, you're not part of the group. So, anyways, Amazon. Amazon appeared to be a good situation for us. You know, we could we could sign on, we could look at the stuff, we could check the reviews, and pick out things that we thought that people would like. Well, there's a little problem with that. Seems that when you make up a wish list, you have to be very specific how you name it. Because if somebody says, look up my wish list and you'll be able to find all the things that I want to buy, that I want for Christmas, and you, you do that and you find things that look like there might be a thing that they would want, and you order the stuff and you spend about 200 bucks on deliveries, knowing that, well, okay, after Christmas we can actually go out and do something when I'm not strapped to a chair with my IV in my arm. So... I went online and I checked into the Amazon website and checked for the wish list and found a, a wish list. And it was, it had Lydia's name on it and said wish list. I, okay, that's probably it. Turns out that that wasn't it. It was something that, uh, Amazon decided these are the things that she would like. So I'm ordering all this stuff and thinking, well, if nothing else, it's what she wanted. Couldn't be further from the truth. Not a single thing on that list was anything she wanted. Nothing she'd ever looked at. Nothing she was interested in. And very expensive. I spent a lot of money. So Later today, we're going to print out all the receipts for everything that I bought and we're going to take them down to UPS and we're going to send them back to Amazon. Isn't that a wonderful way to spend the second day after Christmas? Yeah, you don't want to go on the day after Christmas. That is, that's like the worst. Second day is close to the worst. About a week later is probably best, but Amazon has this thing if they haven't posted it on your credit card then it doesn't go on the credit card if you get it shipped back the day after or within seven days. So anyways, that's my sad tale of woe with Amazon and, and the wish list. Well, Amazon is the kind of gift that just keeps on giving. We bought something called the Melissa and Doug Sunny Patch Giddy Buggy Flashlight because Oliver, my grandson, is of the age where he could enjoy a flashlight, you know, and shine it around, light things up, crawl into dark places, you know, he's 18 months old. He's, he's up and walking around and doing things and getting into trouble, just like his grandfather and his father before him. Well, here is the giddy buggy flashlight. And when I first looked at it, I thought, well, that's kind of cute, you know. 
Seems to be okay. But it came in this bubble pack. You know how I love bubble packs. Fortunately, this one didn't have to be destroyed to get it open. But bubble packs have an, uh, an implied warranty on them. Once you open the bubble pack, the warranty's off. We're not going to get that because we bought it at Amazon. We can return it. But we didn't open it and I didn't put batteries in it and I didn't check it because, you know, you want to have your present arrive in new condition. So, yesterday when the kids came over and we exchanged presents, we opened the Giddy Buggy Flashlight by Melissa and Doug, who have a very nice intro on Amazon. They've done a very good job marketing their stuff. And they're a cute couple and you know you look at them and you just want to trust them because they look like all-american kids right well I don't think this is made in the US nope made in China adult assembly required adult supervision required batteries not included two AA batteries required alkaline batteries are recommended Remove all packaging before giving the toy to a child. Please retain packaging and battery instructions for future reference. So you're supposed to keep this little bubble pack because it has the directions on it. Melissa and Doug products meet or exceed all U.S. toy testing standards and pass our high quality requirements. Melissa and Doug. We love feedback. Call us at 1-800-284-3948 or melissaanddoug.com. <clears throat> I'm going to send this off to melissaanddoug.com just for reference so that they'll understand where I'm at. Melissa and Doug LLC, Post Office Box 590, Westport, Connecticut. Very small writing. Uh, you don't need the zip code. So anyways, seeing as how we need adult assembly required, and I was an adult, I figured I could put the batteries in, right? Well, I'll give them credit. It's a well-designed little bugger. It has a screw. It goes right in here that holds the lens in. And to get the lens out, you have to take the screw out, then press down on this little button here. And that clip, kind of like the clip on a gas can to prevent you from opening the gas can accidentally or getting into the gas can to put gas in the gas can because Lord knows we wouldn't want to be able to do that because we're all too stupid to put gas in the gas can we paid 30 bucks for and then we can't get gas in it or most of the time can't get gas out of it but that's another story but this is a similar thing it's got a little clip on there and once you got that button pressed you can turn it one oh catches the clip again press the button spin it around now I have the screw out I have the lens unscrewed past the little clip the little safety clip this thing is is designed with the idea that you're not going to have a problem with it. You take out a little screw in here. I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain in the butt. Take out a little screw in here and there's a place where the batteries go in and you set the batteries in there positive on the spring on the blank side and negative on the spring side because that's how batteries are made. And you put it all together. You got the batteries in it. Now we put the cap back on it. Put the lens back on it. Goes around and goes click once, click twice, and you press the button. Little button right here on the handle. You know, that's read the directions. That's the button you press. There's no light. So, what's going on? Well, being the guy I am, I think, okay. Wait a minute. 
loosen the lens up a little bit and try it. Works just fine. Got the lens loose, lens loose, lens loose, lens loose. Tight. Hear that click? It's right where it's supposed to be. Where it has to be to get the screw in. Light goes off. There's the light again. Off. Now, you can hand it to the kid with a safety bypass. You know, you just don't latch it on the latch and you leave the screw out. And they can go around and flash the light and push the button and have fun with it. And you bypassed all the safeties on it. All the things that would keep a 18 month old from unscrewing the lens. Well, there is that safety catch like that, but all that means is he's going to screw it like that and then it won't light and he's going to be crying. Wouldn't you be if your Christmas present didn't work? Well, I'm more mad than crying. So, I'm going to take the batteries out and we did save all the packaging. We're going to take the batteries out. I'm going to put this thing back together again. I'm going to put it in the packaging. I'm going to take it down to UPS and I'm going to send it back to Amazon. And I'm going to send a copy of this video to Melissa and Doug. And you know, Amazon has this thing where you can load up a video saying how much you like their product. It's called a review. God love them. So Oliver got some nice presents because we did manage to get some things that did work. And we had a great day yesterday with the little guy and he was just his usual wonderful self because he's my grandson. What else is it going to be, right? <laughs> but just want to let you know, Melissa and Doug, you got to work on this. I'm not saying you're bad people. I'm not saying your design is bad. I'm saying there's something wrong with it and you need to fix it. Because you pissed me off and you made my uh, Christmas present to my grandson not work. Got to work on that. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop it out in the comments. You know, I read them all. And if, if you feel like saying anything negative or, or uh, abusive towards Melissa and Doug. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. I hope that they'll answer back and say, we're sorry and it didn't work and it should have worked. It should have done all the things that we said it would do. <sighs> Those Chinese people, they just screw up everything. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.